What's up, YouTube? Chevy 4.3 valve job and head gasket replacement. Little trick on you guys try to replace your exhaust gasket. <clears throat> what I do, I'll point the 15 millimeter bolts in here. As you can see, it's not even closed yet. I'll show you in a minute why. That's because you can make your life simple if you have the Fell Pro gasket, which is the exhaust gasket. You can see the exhaust is not much all the way close to the head yet. I'll show you why. Because you're gonna grab this one here. See how it's open? <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna do. You're gonna put them in here. We're gonna drop it. And there's in place now. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other ones. Just drop it in here. Set it in place. One more. And voila. There's your exhaust gaskets on in place already. Chevy 4.3. It's a little trick. So now we can go ahead and bolt those down 15 millimeters. When it close the exhaust. And ready to rock and roll. Okay, we have an impact and we have the 14 millimeter socket. No 15, 14. If this thing will focus. There you go. Let's go ahead and tighten the exhaust. There we go, so that's how you install the exhaust. Well, that was for demonstration purposes. Now I have to remove it because the exhaust is on the way for the outside head bolts. So now I'm, let me remove it, install the head, and then we install the exhaust inside of the car or the truck. Okay, now since we tied the, the exhaust, the exhaust gaskets are gonna be stuck there, so whenever you place it over there, they won't be falling. So now they're stuck in place. That's just a little trick. So let me go ahead and install the heads on the truck. I'll be right back. Okay, once we have everything nice and clean, we are ready to drop in the um, head gaskets. You don't have to worry about the position on the pistons because this one is push rods, so don't worry about it. There's no timing on it because the timing is right here on the timing chain. So let's go ahead and drop in the head gaskets. Okay, head gaskets are in place. Ready to drop in the heads. One more trick before you install any heads, any car, any engine. The head gaskets, if you have B6, it has a position. It usually says left and right. On this one, it has no markings. So they're interchangeable. So all you have to do is make sure the little color letters or, or color lines are pointing up. Like you've seen the bottom is more like flat or made. So just make sure the letters are up and then it's only one way, so it's no way to fucked up. And then another thing before you install the heads and even in placing the gaskets whenever you're cleaning and scrubbing the, the surface of the block, make sure in every hole where the head bolt goes blow some air on it because if you have oil or water in there you can damage the block or broke the or you can break the bolt the head the head bolt and then you will mess up on the uh, torque spec so make sure there's no water or anything inside on these holes where the head bolts 
Godzilla the thread right there. So every hole, this one here, this one here, all of them. Only the ones with the thread on it. So just make sure you blow some air on it and you can get all the water out. Let's drop in the heads. All right, we're ready to drop in the head. Little pointer, always buy a brand new head bolts. And on these 4.3 is different sizes. Four longer, it goes in the middle, three in the middle, two in the middle, and then two shorters on each corner of the edge, and then six that goes on the outside of the head. So that's why they're different sizes. It's gonna be five, two, and six. Always replace them for new bolts. Okay, the 4.3 right side, driver's side head is in. Head bolts are in. What I'm doing right now is hand tightening them all the way down by hand of a little electric ratchet, all the way down. Don't go too tight. If I'm not mistaken, that's like maybe like 10 to 15 pounds. So they're all the way down. And let me show you another trick. If you're using the same head bolts, if you're not using this, the, old, uh, the new ones, let me show you something. This is why you have to replace them. You see how the water ate this bolt? That's why I had to replace them. It's a must. And plus when they come, it comes with some sealer, uh, some sealer thing right here, which is gonna be, uh, I don't know if it's chalak, it's um, liquid sealer, liquid, uh, damn it, I forgot the name of it. Liquid Teflon, like a Teflon tape, but in liquid. That's the, the original, the new ones comes with it. But that's why you have to replace the new, the old ones for new ones. If they're clean and the thread is kind of good or clean, like this one, all you have to do is gonna grab some Teflon tape, but the liquid one, or some chalac, which is this one right here. It's a sealer. It's a gas. Uh, it's a sealing liquid. It forms like a gasket. So you're gonna grab some a little bit and put them on the tip of the bolt and you're gonna slide it right in. So let's go ahead and show you the other one. That head is in already. Let's bring the torque, so we can torque them down, and I'll let you know the specs right now. Okay, here is the, here is the side head bolts, the shorter ones, it goes on the side of the head. It already has some liquid sealing on it, only. So they're ready to install over there. Let me put it back on them down I'll show you I'll be back okay we're back on this uh, 4.3 Chevy V6 engine this is a torque specs a little book we're gonna look for a Chevy we're gonna look for six cylinder which is uh, 4.3 TBI right here there's a little picture in there so this is uh, 4.3 TBI 85 to 90 92 to 93 it says use three steps in sequence as uh, shown final torque, 65 pounds. So 65 foot pound divided in three steps. So let's say you're gonna go first 22 pounds on first and then go again another 22, another 22. That'll be 66, that's fine. On this one we can even go all the way to 75 pounds. But the specs are 65, which is this one right there. And this is the sequence right here. So 65 pounds in total, but you have to divide it in three three steps. So we're gonna go ahead and do uh, three 22s. 22, 22, 22. So we're gonna go over here. Okay, so we're here. We have a tart. This is Snap-on Digital. Beautiful, beautiful masterpiece. Really expensive, so yeah. We have 35 pounds there. We're gonna go down to 22 22 3 times 22 that'll be 66 there 22 on this one since it's digital the little red the little uh, lights they're gonna light up it's gonna be green uh, yellow yellow all the way to green that's the green that's, that's when we're gonna be done on top of that, that this one is gonna make a sound like a beep so let's go ahead the head bolts are 13 millimeters. Let's go ahead and do the 22 and 22s. The way you're gonna do, you're gonna do crisscross. Just one, 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 and the ones on the bottom. So let's start. Let's see if you guys can hear the little beep. Let's 